Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are here with you with another topic, Habitat and Food Chain. It's a lecture one and part one. Habitats. The place where living things lives is its habitat. It is the place where it can find shelter, protection and mates. The living things shown below live in the garden. The garden there the garden and their habitat. Hibiscus, snail, mushroom, birds. Animals in the garden, does it have legs? Yes, does it have feather? Yes, then it is bird. No, then it is grasshopper. And does it have shell? No. And then we have snail, yes, and earthworm. This is a divergent key. The animal in the habitat are independent. In what ways do animals depend on plants? Think of the food you have eaten in your last meal. What are the sources of these food? Chicken, rice plant. Many animals depend directly or indirectly on plants for food. Plants provide the animal with energy and nutrients. Without plants, these animals will die. Besides, food animals depend on plants for shelter and protection. Trees, for example, can be habitats for animals such as birds and ants. They provide shelter and protection to these animals. Monkey on, of the, monkey on the trees. An ant nests on trees, a bird nests on trees. Similarly, plants depend on animals for reasons like dispersal of fruits and seeds, pollination, and for the carbon dioxide that is produced by animal. In this way, both plants and animals are independent, interdependent on each other. When animals die, they are broken down into simple substances by decomposers such as bacteria and fungi. These Simpler substances such as mineral salts are nutrients for the plant. The plants absorb these nutrients through their roots for healthy growth. Flowering plants. Flowering plants depend on animals for production, reproduction as well. In the reproduction of flowering plants, pollen from the male parts of the flowers has to be transferred to the female parts of flowers. This process is called pollination. Some animals, especially insects, help in pollination. There are five main modes of seed dispersal. Gravity, wind, plastic, water, and by animal. Some plants are serotonous and only disperse their seeds in response to an environmental stimulus. Now we'll discuss the key point. The place where a living thing lives is its habitat. It is the place where it can be found food, shelter, protection, and mates. For example, the desert in the habitats of camels and cacti. A key can be used to identify plants and animals in the habitat. Plants and animals in a habitat are interdependent. That is why they depend on one another for survival. Animal depends on plants for food, shelter, and protection. Plants depend on animal for nutrients. Some flowering plants depend on animal for pollination and dispersal of seed. Jazakallah for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.